Hey Pokemon fans, it's Franz Xavier, logging on to make awesome videos one at a time, and here we are with what is possibly the very last episode of my Pokemon Fire Red Nuzlocke. As you can see, I've done a fair amount of training off screen. As I recall, the last time I last time I saved this video. It was at the 45 hour and 12 minutes mark, and now here we are, seven and a half hours later, or a little bit over, with my final victory team assembled. We've got Slash with... Surf, Ice Beam, Rain Dance, and Protect. Kiwi, Vidodrio with Drill Peck. Agility, Tri Attack, and Pursuit. Merlin with Psychic, Recover, Reflect, and Shadow Ball. I also used all my <clears throat> power ups to raise Psychic's base uh, PP up to 16 as opposed to 10. Finally got my boy Ord to level 56. Didn't know he learned Outrage at level 50 back in Gen 3, as a Dratini. Mikey now knows two electric attacks. And Winston, whilst I, I can't get Sludge Bomb because it's on 5 Island, that's not available until post-game, Flamethrower is going to provide some good fire protection. Not to mention, his bulk is going to make him a very good tank. Except against Psychics, of course. But why would I send a Poison type against a Psychic type? I'm not stupid. But one last thing I wanted to see... Wanted you guys to see me do. Just something I'm adding for a little dramatic flair. Just want to give it a little Lance touch. All the, gen, all the Gen 2 homies know in the chat. And while I did say the level cap was level 62, I didn't say I had to be at that level cap. But anyways, let's do a last check of our bag, make sure we've got enough... Yeah, we got about 36 Hyper Potions, 31 Full Restores, 13 Full Heals, with true all our Ethers and elixirs and max ethers and max elixirs we should have plenty for the we are well stocked for the elite four and since i know the first one is going to be water type Let's put Michael out first. All right, gang. Mikey, Kiwi, Merlin, Ord, Winston, and Slash. We're taking this 05. No casualties. The strong deserve no less. Let the run begin. Welcome to the Pokemon League. I am Lorelei of the Elite Four. No one can best me when it comes to icy Pokemon. Freezing moves are powerful. Your Pokemon will be at my mercy when they are frozen solid. I'm more than ready, Lorelei. Let's begin. Thunderbolt! Down in one hit. Now 
I know what you're thinking. Why am I switching to Slash? You'll see. Mm. Oh, wait. That's not good. Ha! You just wasted a protect. Let's rain dance again. Eh. Sorry, there's this... There's this mosquito flying around in my room, and it's... Not gonna lie. Very annoying. Wow, just that much from one... <sighs> Surf. While it's down. Let's switch back into Mikey. I was trying to use Rain Dance and make it... You know, it just occurred to me I could have s s stayed in with Slash and had him use Rain Dance, but oh well. That's half her team, it's over half her team down. You know, I think I got this. Dang it, mosquito. It's almost biting me. Let's go safe. Let's go safe with a simple yet effective and easily accurate Thunderbolt. Okay, now it's time to recall. Oh boy. Oh, that actually wasn't so bad. Yeah, but that was my one healing item for this battle. Want to see what a surf feels like? Crud baskets. I forgot about water absorb. All right, here goes. Rain's still falling. Rain's still falling, so there's a chance that thunder will land effectively. Yep. That's the wonderful thing about rain. 100% effectiveness with thunder. And Lapras goes down.
you thought I was gonna send Winston in to fight Jinx just because he knew F Flamethrower. You're crazy. It'd be suicide to send a poison type against a psychic type. At any rate, I win. Yeah, well, things were this way, Lorelei. Alright, let's heal up in between. <coughs> and let's switch our leads. Since Bruto is going to be fighting type, let's lead... Oh, I forgot they had different themes. I am Bruno of the Elite Four. Through rigorous training, people in Pokemon can become stronger without limit. I've lived and trained with my fighting Pokemon. And that will never change. Francis! We will grind you down with our superior power. Hoo-ha! We'll see who gets grinded, Bruno. Or, ground, rather. Sorry for my poor English. Oh, mercy. I misjudged. But not to worry. Oh, boy. I always get nervous whenever I see that move. Four times a weakness. <laughs> Let's do this. Psychic. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! <clears throat> nope. Won't need to. Alright. Three for three. This is what I like to see. <coughs> Excuse me. Where the heck's my water? Here it is. On the floor. How sad for you that Onyx is not only slower than Blastoise, but four times as weak. The, su the superior psychic that evolves by training versus the superior fighting that evolves by training. At the same level, too. However, Halkazam's faster! Booyah! you love to see it. Man, Merlin almost soloed that fight. Of course, they use Lavender or Pokemon Tower for Agatha the Ghost Master. <laughs> Merlin should be a cinch here because, you know, most of her team's also poison types. I am Agatha, the Elite Four. I hear to <coughs> I hear Oak's taking a lot of interest in you, child. That old Duff was once tough and handsome, but that was decades ago. He's a shadow of his former self. Now he just wants to fiddle with his Pokedex. He's wrong. Pokemon are for battling. I'll show you how a real trainer battles, Francis. Hey, who's to say that Pokemon can do, do battling and be collected? I'll show you myself.
Psychic Ozen! Gengar and Alakazam, Eternal Rivals. But this time, I win. You know, I probably should have made Merlin hold my amulet coin, but... Money's no object now. The run's almost over. Poison equals psychic. Oh, Alakazam, 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 where would I be without my boy? <laughs> like that's going to intimidate me. My attack's already paltry to begin with, and I don't even have any physical moves. Besides, your Arbok ain't nothing compared to my shiny Arbok. Who is thankfully staying out of this fight? Okay, now we're getting into the higher levels. And possibly higher resistance? But also possibly not! I had meant to do this for quite some time. This is going on almost two years for this Nuzlocke run. But work and school, like so many things, end up getting in the way. Not to mention a bunch of roommate drama and just... Oh, so many things that's way too much for this one episode. Or maybe not. I suppose it would be just boring to have this just dedicated to this battling without me talking. Well, yes, I am something special, Agatha. Thank you for noticing. Alright, then. So, I actually did take Bill upon his offer and tried to scale Mount Pyre. Uh, Mount Ember, rather. Mount Pyre said Hoenn, you fool. You're the Hoenn, baby. You're supposed to know this. But I ended up not catching Mole Trace because A, that would make it too easy, B, I already had a Mount Ember encounter, even though there's like technically two different spaces, and honestly I just thought, well, my team is already strong enough by themselves, and having a Legendary would kind of defeat the purpose, and I want to prove that these guys are tough enough to stay on their own. I ended up using the Versus Seeker a whole lot on like a bunch of different routes, but they were never above level 30, which made it take way longer than it should have. I unfortunately couldn't, uh, think couldn't find any other better moves for my team but if this is how they're go good they're going now I can safely say I didn't need them oh I forgot this part mm. hello future Johto champion I've heard about you, Francis. I lead the Elite Four. You can call me Lance the Dragon Trainer. You know that dragons are mythical Pokemon. They're hard to catch and raise, but their powers are superior. They're virtually indestructible. There's no being clever with them. Except if you have ice types or other dragon types. Well, are you ready to lose? Are you ready, Lance? Because you're the one who's gonna lose. To me. Dragon Rage? Really? Uh-oh. 
Twister knocked out Ord that one time. Let's try bringing in Winston. Baby is bulk. His bulk will come in handy. And so it do. Oh, I should have switched into Michael. Shut it on Winston Protect. Oh, hello! But I'll switch to a Pokemon that does no Protect. close. Ha! You missed. And just weak enough for this. Only things that work were this easy. It's been getting non stop difficult. Mm. Ramping up chicken production at Kroger, but never slowing down. And never slowing down with telling me just how not good I am. Except when it comes, to, well, at least from the management side, from the customers and my uh, coworkers, they're actually telling me I do the best out of all of them. And my my boss is actually telling me I do it really good. It's just the store manager doesn't think very highly of me. But hey, I'm pretty sure all store managers are like that to a degree. There's only one way I'm ending this with Dragonite. <clears throat> Double weakness. Ice Beam! Come on, come on! Wow, that's a bulky Dragonite. And the rain stopped, because of course it did. My plan was to use Slash to Slash's Rain Dance to, you know, make Michael's Thunder hit all the time. But that one could happen. Well, at least my Water Star is on the same level as my Alakazam, you know. It do be like that. Anyways. Back to plan A. Since it's a rock type, I'll just surf it to death. Which should be done just about... Whoa, it actually held on. Hope it gets a high roll this time. Oh, 
Uh oh. I always get nervous whenever I see Hyper Beam. <sighs> well, I'm not quite a master. It's time to settle this. Once and for all. Probably could have used an ether. But I felt it was more appropriate. <sighs> Here we are. This is it. I'm actually not sure what he's going to lead with. So I better make sure I'm prepared. Let me check the guidebook. One last time. Okay, Jeffrey should be leading with Pidgeot, so, Slash, you're back in the front, just like you always were. I was looking forward to seeing you as well. Yes, of course I should be strong to keep you sharp. As did I. Not for... Not for long. This is it, guys. Final battle! Whew. Let's do it, guys. Nice going, Slash. Just in case he tried to Santa tag me again. Well, luckily I don't have any physical moves on this bad boy. Yes, please. Here goes. He's six levels over me, but let's see if this works. Yes! Level 58. I don't mean to grow levels in this final battle, but every point helps. Now let's... T now let's do this. Thunderbolt. 
Four times weakness should be enough for just a Thunderbolt. Even if he is three levels over. I feel guilty for not using Kiwi in this fight, but... I will f but I know the perfect use for her coming up soon. A rock ground type, huh? What a pity. What a pity, 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 pity. Oh, now because I'm already. I've got just the thing. Oh, man. Agility is going to be wasted. Kiwi, switch out! No, I said switch out with Slash! I know I was going to have to face this out because I'm soon enough. Let's hope his special bulk is enough. Don't know Shadow Ball, do you? Let's see. Not just how extreme speed looked in this generation. What am I kidding? Of course, I could never forget. That was Rayquaza's ace and that was Rayquaza's bread and butter. I remember it knocking out Nemo back when I first played Ruby. Oh man. Now I'm getting the flashbacks. Extreme speed, rest, outrage, fly. Oh, it was horrible. It was the Mewtwo of my generation. Whew. I had no idea it was Arcanine's signature move until Gen 3. Well, technically until Gen 2, thanks to the, uh, you know, the special Dratini they can learn it. <sighs> Here goes! <clears throat> That'll douse its fire attacks if it ever uses any. And... It'll boost Surf's power. Okay, it had to have used it, like, six times, right? 
That was totally cheating. I... But that's it! Ladies and gentlemen, we've won! It's a few close calls, but we really did it. Did you really, though? Yeah. Thanks, Professor. Yeah, I really have. Well, do we really see him not treat them with love or trust? I mean, he doesn't treat us with love and trust. He tr He's acting like a brat to us, but... Yeah, think about that for a while, Jeff. <sighs> a lot of things have happened in the last two years. Exactly when I started this is a still a little unclear. Or at least I don't rem really remember it. Uh, just a mo. Wow. July 20th, 2021 was my first episode that I published here. I didn't have this guidebook back then. And that was when Brian was still living with us. Well before all these other c crazy dudes came into the picture. Hey, that was even before we got the second part of the... Before we even started renting out the second half of the apartment, I was still employed with Amazon. Later that year, I was going to start... <clears throat> Later that year, I was going to start... Um... Oh yeah, my first my, my playthrough of Animal Crossing New Horizons. That was the year Spider-Man No Way Home came out. Then Into the Spider-Verse came out the year after that. And the Mario movie came out the year after that, and I jumped between jobs and I lost my car and I lost my old Pokemon. We had a whole new generation of Pokemon come out in that time frame. The Scarlet and Violet announcement just... So much has happened. We got a second Sonic movie, a new Sonic cartoon. The Knuckles show is coming in a month. Bunch of Nintendo Directs, the eShop shut down. Mm -hmm. 
three seasons of death battle, and then now Rooster Teeth is getting the axe. Time changes, man. But I sincerely want to thank you all for following me on this journey, and I know I haven't been the best Nuzlocke player, but I hope to do better in future Nuzlocks, because I'm planning to do some more future some future Nuzlocks of Gen 3 games, Gen 4 games, and beyond. But I think when it comes to those, I'm gonna use an emulator. It's gonna be it's gonna require far less of a setup. Literally all I'm gonna need is my computer and my microphone. And your dedication. Thank you. I did work hard for this. And I was tempted to take an easy way out with an action replay, but that would have defeated the entire purpose. The only thing... Literally the only equipment I used was... Using a game link, using the wireless adapters to evolve Merlin. Now here we are at the Hall of Fame. Fifty three hours, twenty nine minutes. Stretched out two and a half years. Train harder and beat me next time, if you can. <sighs> We've had a lot of ups and lots of downs these past couple years. I've seen some good movies. I've seen some not so good movies. Look at you, Madam Web. I've been looking at you for good movies like Godzilla Minus One, and the Super Mario Brothers movie, Sonic Movie 2. Do need to see Oppenheimer. <clears throat> and I started watching Gargoyles. Heck, I even finally got off my tuchus and watched the Owl House, Amphibia, and Gravity Falls. Goodness, the, ti the tiny amount of actual dev teams on this staff never cease to amaze me. Now that I'm done with this Nuzlocke, I can finally, uh, I believe like, I believe like I can finally focus on doing the DLC I bought for Sword and Shield, and then buy the DLC for <coughs> uh, Scarlet and Violet, because I need to finish those games. I have a lot of backlog of games I need to finish, and, um, I made my Lenten promise to finish those games before I bought any new ones. Even ones I really wanted, like Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2 or Sonic Superstars. Yeah, Blastoise. None of this franchise would have been possible without you, Iwata-sensei. May you rest in peace. 
along with Mr. Akira Toriyama. I may not have grown up with Dragon Ball like so many people did, but I did very much respect it. And its, inf and its influence on anime and manga cannot be overstated. Its influence on pop culture in general just... Toriyama Sensei really brought anime into the mainstream. Without him, we wouldn't even have Naruto or... Oh, hello, Pikachu. We wouldn't have any of the stuff we love today. So thank you, Toriyama Sensei. Thank you, Iwata Sama. And thank you to everyone who brought these important parts of my childhood to life. I wouldn't be where I am without you. Thank you. Until next time, this is Francis Xavier, logging off.